guys, plus three TCG here and Squirt Minasaur, and we're here to do a Pokemon deck profile. Um, I went to the uh, regionals in St. Louis, um, obviously in March 2017, um, and I ran this wonderful beauty, Night March. Um, the Night March attack says um, this attack does 20 damage times the number of Pokemon in your discard pile that have the Night March attack. Um, so it gets pretty broken, um, if you have, uh, the right cards, which, hence the deck, you're gonna have the right cards. Okay, so, uh, you start out with, uh, four Joltik, because, uh, that's just the, uh, main attacker of the deck. Granted, he's only got 30 HP, um, he's only got 30 HP. Um, and he won't live one shot, but he one shots everything else um, because you are going to hit for so hard. Um, the next one is Lampent. Um, it has the same attack, but it never hits the field. Um, it just goes straight to the discard pile and just sits there and is like, yo, I'm going to add damage to everything else. So you run four of that. Um, the next card is... Um, Punkaboo, you run four of this. This is your backup attacker. Um, it's for three colorless, but that doesn't matter because you're going to run a stadium that says it doesn't matter. So that's the main attackers of the deck, just those uh, three. Um, and then you have your supporting cast. I guess Lempent would be a supporting cast because it adds damage, but... Uh, it has the Night March attack, so it counts as the Night March setup. Um, you have to run this expensive card. Um, Shaman EX. It needs no introduction. Um, but the setup ability says when you play this card from your hand to your bench, um, you get to um, add uh, draw cards from your deck until you have six in hand. So that card is a little broken. Um, and then the final Pokemon you play in here is your last attacker. Um, this is for late game when all of your Night Marchers are in the discard pile and you just need something to just live. Um, you run the Tauros GX with 180 HP, which is the bulk. Um, and it has the Mad Bull GX move, which says this attack does um, 30 times the number of damage for the number of damage counters on it. So um, it just cleans up real nicely. Um, and you, I've won so many games with that card um, just for cleaning up because they know how strong Night March are, so they try to get rid of those, so you bring this guy out. Now, for the trainer cards, uh, we'll start with supporters. Um, let's get these out of the way. Um, we have three Professor Sycamore. Um, this guy says, discard your hand, draw seven. He's a staple. You have to run three to four in every deck. So that's what you do. Um, two Lysander, another very staple card. It says switch one of your opponent's uh, Pokemon with one of their benched. So if they have such as this Tauros, if they're running a Tauros, since this is another staple card in about every deck, you just Lysander it up um, and then just Oko it before it gets set up and uh, Mad Bulling all over your team. Um, the next card is a combo card with the Tauros. Uh, Ninja Boy, it has a very long description, so, um, I'm gonna sum it up for you guys. Um, it says, switch a basic Pokemon on your side of the field with one in your, uh, deck. So, therefore, um, you're running these little Night Marchers, and you're like, well, darn, I'm not hitting for knockout, so we're just going to Ninja Boy into this bad thing, and, uh, he'll already be set up. So, that's how that one combos. Um, since you're running these 30 and 60 HP uh, guys, you want to run teammates. This card says if a Pokemon you have is knocked out, um, search any two cards from your deck and put them into your hand. It's just more consistency for these uh, and more punishment for your opponents knocking you out because you just get all of the cards that you need, and then you're just going to set up even more Night Marchers and going to run through their team. Um, 
Now we're going into uh, Tex, uh, Chorus. Um, he's a good tech in every expanded um, deck. Uh, he says, uh, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw this number of, uh, draw the same as the number of bench car, uh, bench Pokemon. So if they're, you're allowed to have five bench. So if both players have all five on their bench, you get to shuffle your hand in and draw 10 cards. So you could just have this as your only card, play it, and you just shuffle your deck and draw 10 cards. It's plus 10. It's pretty, pretty cheeky. Um, AZ. This is a good combo card with the Shaman. It says pick up a card, um, pick up a Pokemon on your side of the field and put it in your hand. So you just pick up a Shaman and then set down the Shaman and then do the setup for more cards. Um, and then we have Pokemon Ranger because there are cards in the meta right now that counter this heavily, such as Jolteon EX, which says basics can't touch it. Um, well, if you haven't noticed, this entire deck is basic, so we have to run this in order to get around the Jolteons, but you only need to play one because, um, if they're only probably going to be running one Jolteon, so you just do it once and then you just Oko them. Um, and then for our last supporter tech, it's Hexmaniac because a Vileplume is a thing and Vileplume says, um, every deck gets no item cards. Um, and so you just do this. This shuts off all abilities. So you play that and you get your items. Now to the items, um, we run this uh, $40 card. This says discard two from your hand, search any card from your deck, put it in your hand. Um, you only get to one, one A spec. So this is my A spec of choice. Um, for Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Um, you want to... This says discard two, add a Pokemon from deck to hand. So this gets your Shamans for your draw power or um, your Night Marchers if in a pinch. You run one town map, which says flip over your prizes face up because you want to get out your double colorless energy and all of your other necessities when you take your Oko prizes. Um, we run one Fighting Fury Belt um, for the Ninja Boy Tauros line. Um, which says add 40 HP and 10 attack to a basic Pokemon this card's attached to. Um, so it's pretty good. Enhanced Hammer, um, discard a special energy card attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, it slows down the meta, so that's why you run it as a tech. Um, Acrobike, more speed. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose one, put it in your hand, discard the other. Um, pretty speed. Um, Sterling Megaphone, uh, discard all tool cards attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Um, just more stall power, just in case you can't get set up, which in this deck, if you're not set up, you lose. Um, two, Crushing Hammer for more stall power. This says flip a coin. If heads, discard a, uh, energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Um, two Special Charge for the, um, DCEs. Because you only run 4 DCE. Um, you may run a, one or two basics, in which I do, but you can't rely on those. So let's get these out of the way so we can continue. Um, just in case you don't have enough Night Marchers in the discard pile, you run the Muscle Band. Um, this is a tool card. It says when it's attached to um, a Pokemon, it does 20 more damage. So you can, with this card, you can get all the way up to 240 H, uh, 240 hit points, um, which is okoing everything in the meta except for uh, the big stage two GXs. Um, then you run three trainers mail, um, just more consistency. Uh, you run, it says look at the top four cards of your deck, pick a trainer card. So any of these trainer cards that I've been showing you, you get to select it at if it's in the top four cards of the deck. Um, it's pretty unbalanced, um, but you run it anyways. Uh, for Battle Compressor, this is the heart and soul of the deck. So if you do trainer's mail and this is in there, you're gonna grab this. Um, it says just discard three cards from your deck. Um, so the combo with this is you discard your Lampent that are going to be dead draws because they're never going to hit the field. Um, and then you also discard supporters um, for the VS Seekers. Um, 
and then the stadium of choice um is dimensional valley um this card says each of your psychic each psychic pokemon on the field has one colorless less um attack so for that three colorless uh, Night March attack for Punkaboo, if you have this stadium out, it's only a double colorless, which is the same as the Joltik. Um, now we're going to move on to Energy. Um, you run four DCE because it does two colorless. So a DCE plus this equals knockout on basically any Pokemon um, in the game right now. Of course, except for the 250 HP ones. But And then for the last two... We run um, one Psychic and one Electric because Gnaw has um, a little broken. Um, it, it's come in clutch in the mirror match because um, if you do Gnaw for 10 with a muscle band, you're doing 30. Well, guess what that magical number right there is? It does 30 and you don't have to waste your DCEs. So um, that's the deck profile. Um, it did me really good. I've ran this deck for multiple years, um, and I hope it works good for you guys. So this is Square Manosaur and Plus 3 TCG, signing out. Thanks for watching, y'all.